ticker symbol NVDA for NVIDIA just rips to the upside and continues, right, you guys? But we all know why this is going up, right? First of all, it had a good earnings report, right? Earnings beat. And also ticker symbol AI and all the other uh, artificial intelligence stocks are ripping to the upside too. And the ticker symbol NVIDIA continues to go to the upside because they would be the ones to essentially create uh, them and a few others, right? They would be essentially the ones to create the uh, graphics processors for uh, for language models, for artificial uh, intelligence, uh, image generators, all kinds of stuff, right? So this is why NVIDIA is very, very bullish right now and continuing to beat some 52-week uh, highs, right? So, do you're, I mean, you're looking at here 2021, 3047.11, and the price action has led to about 419.38, marking a very, very important impressive high for the ticker, right? So this is uh, absolutely impressive. And we want to see if there could be some type of uh, opportunity for the immediate short term, right? So let's go ahead and get this started now. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you with an NVDA technicals and raw price action threat of analysis on this Thursday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, Let's dive right into the charts. Okay, so guys, we are looking at NVDA on the uh, weekly chart here. And as you can see on the weekly, we have absolutely used that 200-day uh, simple moving average as that support that we look for before continuation, right? So let's just go ahead and take a look at this right over here, okay? So up, way back here in 2012, right, we were uh, uh, capitulating straight from uh, 2011, right? This was essentially the recovery from the 2007-2008 uh, crash, right? So the housing uh, crisis, right? So we got that we got that uh, downside, right? We recovered, tested that SMA 200 resistance. We tested it we weren't exactly sure about continuing to the upside we filled it yet again upon finally beating it we tested it one more time with that tiny little wick right down there and then the price action continued to the upside uh, thus following the silver cross and also a golden cross right which consists of the, the the golden cross would be the sma 50 over the sma 200 and the silver cross could be of two variety a lot of people talk about it differently right so it could either be the ema 21 over the ema EMA 55 or the EMA 20 over the EMA 50, right? So now uh, that price action has continued to the upside upon that uh, 2018 bear market that we faced. Please notice that we use that SMA 200 as support before continuing on to the upside. You can see here that most recently, right, October 2022, we came back down, failed the 200, but reclaimed it, tested it again, and continued on, right? And very similarly to those other, uh, other iterations, we absolutely have the silver cross happening right over here you guys and the price action has continued on to the upside okay so now what is it like that we have verified this uh this overall bullish trend right so i mean uh nvidia is absolutely a very very good uh long-term hold as well as this is uh I mean, I mean, this is a blue chip, right, you guys? So let's go ahead and take a look at the shorter term time frame and see what we have in store, right? So first of all, the four hour time frame, let's look at the volatility versus momentum profile. We want to see uh, an upside pivot on volatility and contracting or expanding volatility. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, momentum upside. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have contraction volatility. That's good. We're starting that contraction phase and we have the upside pivot on momentum. Okay, so that's essentially what we're looking for as a basis to start from. Now, notice here that the bear pressure is starting to miss minimize on the MACD on the four hour and we have DMI support for the statistical move for the uh, volatility versus momentum and that DMI support I mean that DMI plus other uh, or aka bulls green uh, and DMI minus are very much apart from each other. This gives the bulls the advantage and also anytime that the average directional index the ADX is uh, upside of the 30%, that would mark very strong market trend. And notice that it's at 51 with the bulls leading on top. So we absolutely have DMI support for the volatility versus momentum profile. And this is looking very good. Uh, immediate short-term time frame. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie for a second, you guys. It does have a little bit <laughs> of. Uh, 
a little bit of a herpy derpy formation here, right? So you guys know that I don't really follow uh, formations too much, but it does get uh, it does get some attention from retail, right? So we're looking at here at the uh, head and shoulders formation, right? So let me just go ahead and uh, kind of make this uh, the shoulder here, right? And then uh, we can uh, take this drawing and uh, uh, you know bring it right over here, just just like this. This would be the head. Right. And then now let's go ahead and duplicate this one, too. And this would be the right hand shoulder. Right. And it just so happens that we're facing already resistance from this right hand shoulder. Right. So it's uh, it's kind of indicating that we could potentially face uh, an immediate short term downside. Right. So from three ninety nine eighty to potentially uh, well, there could be other spaces. Right. Let me just bring up the SMA 10 here because that could also be a, a higher probability move. Right. So and also I think I you know, it, it would be safe to display my EMAs and bring up not the customs, the, the regular ones. Right. And uh to bring up the SM, the EMA seven, and the EMA uh, nine, right? So th those two moving averages could also be used for our advantage. And yeah, this would be the one right over here, right? So I'm gonna make this just uh, ever so slightly a different color. Maybe, uh, damn it, man! It, there's all these, all these other colors everywhere, right? So yeah, just let me make it a little bit thicker there. And it in fact shows that all of those moving averages <laughs> that I selected are landing within one zone. Okay, so the SMA 10, EMA 7, and EMA period 9 are landing right at about 391 to about 392. Okay, so this means that, I mean, that this is one area of support. And also notice that the confluence here from the neckline of this uh, formation here, that is landing very close to the EMA 50 or the EMA 20, sorry, right? So, uh, uh, man, why do I have it backwards in colors like that, right? Usually I like to kind of color these things a little bit differently, right? So the 20, uh, the 21 over the 55, this in case would be yellow and this one is the dark orange. I have to remember to never, never color it like that, right? So yeah, the EMA 21 is landing right at that same zone of the neckline from the formation, which gives it a little, uh, you know, a little more variety here and, and probability too. Okay, so now if uh, to find out the price objective for the silly little formation is we take the trend line from the very top of the head all the way to the bottom of the neckline and we apply it to the bottom side of the right shoulder right so in this case you can see that price action would uh essentially indicate a touch perfectly of the sma 50 between the ema 55 and the sma 50 right so right in there at the at about the target of about four, 341.39 if price action does reach that area you guys i uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor and I would really, exp I would really like for you to, uh, uh, just, uh, do your own due diligence as I can't suggest for you to buy or sell or hold any assets whatsoever. Okay. You guys do, you do your own and everything will be cool. Cool. All right. But in this case, if we were to touch there, I'm longing this, right? So I'm longing it from this point here because there could be a continuation to the upside that, uh, you know, <laughs> could be could be very very sought after or a very good opportunity for us, right? In that event, if we did face the support from this zone and we create a bear trap, right? So where the price action does not continue to the downside like the bears want to, then in that case, the formation here would would slightly change and it would start creating a right angled triangle, right? And that would be incredibly bullish too. If that were the case here, remember there's a lot of speculation here over the over formations right but it, te it tends to bring a lot of attention right so in that case we can see a breakout from let's just arguably say the the 65 to 70 percent to the apex of the triangle right so in this case we would break out from potentially here uh you know th this coming monday or something and the price action would lead to a high of about 434.02 Okay, but remember that this is being played in two ways.